What's up everybody, Sam with Slam here. Welcome back to a brand new Slam to Movie Review. And it's going to be a kind of a crappy review, so... Well, I think all my reviews are kind of crappy as it is anyway. I mean, I'm not really a good reviewer anyway, so I'm talking about films. And I've been, uh, personally, been going for, uh, going for a lot of depression and yada yada, and there's a lot of shit going on, and... I can't stand it, but we are here for the 1976 Gator, and this is a sequel to uh, White Lightning, and I'm I'm on a fucking Burt Reynolds kick, and I think tomorrow I'm going to try to watch some more Burt Reynolds films. I mean, there's either there's Malone and there's Heat. There's just some there's are two films I really want to look forward to see. But Gator, I mean, I've watched before. Um, didn't really, I, I saw it. And then I only saw 30 minutes of it, and I, I just didn't get really into it. I was really doing some other shit, or I just was distracted. But I uh, yesterday I ended up watching it, and I tell you what, a damn good watch. A damn good watch indeed, and definitely better. Than, I mean, I liked White Lightning, but this right here was a lot more better, in my opinion. It stars Burt Reynolds, and he also directed this. Now the thing is, though, you know, when you review a film, you know, oh, the writing, the uh, the way it's shot, and yada yada. I don't really fucking care. All I care about is watching the movie and the story works, the plot. You know, what's the plot? You know, like the first one, he has to help with the feds. He's got to help with the feds again. He's got to go after the, a local crime lord, Magal, Bama Magal. And guess who it is? It's Jerry Reed. Jerry Reed. You know, when I, I first saw Jerry Reed is Smoking the Bandit with Burt Reynolds. And I enjoyed, I love Smoking the Bandit 1 and 2. I haven't seen the third one, but I think that's going to be shit. I don't know if I want to watch that one. But uh, I saw, I realized that Jerry Reed's the fucking bad guy. It's like, wow, okay. Is he still alive? I think he's still living. No, he died in 2008. But, um,. No, um, so basically Gator is, he's back, he's, he's just got out of prison, and then he's back on the swamp with his dad and his daughter. And the feds of Irving Greenfield, who is this uh, fat, like, detective, whatever, from the Department of Justice or whatever the fuck it is, I don't know, but he... There, you gotta basically. Let's see here. It's about the corruption in Dunson County, and they have a local boss, Bob McCall, who is played by Jerry Reed. Now, um, Irving wants to get a federal agent. He wants Gator, and it's funny how it is. I mean, they try to get him, and then they have this little chase scene, and you know. But then they threatened to put his dad in prison or jail and put his daughter in foster care. So he decides to go. And so, okay. And Bob McCall is basically a guy that he w went through. Maybe they went and pr maybe they went to jail together, yada, yada, did some things. And he knows that he's going to, he knows him, supposedly. So basically, that's all it is. That's the plot right there. Him going after Bob McCall. And then he meets up with, um,. Lauren Hutton. Damn, she's in her 78 years. Well, she's older now, but damn, she still looks like her old. I don't know. She's pretty fucking hot, but she played um, this this fucking damn interviewer, and that's how Burt Reynolds gives up with her and stuff. Yeah, it was. You know, and that's how and they go against the corruption. They they go after. Magal, and then the thing is though that Burt Reynolds, Gator, he ends up uh, teaming up with him. What the fuck is that? Oh, Zachary. But uh, yeah, he ends up working with him, but he, he like the job. He, it's it's yeah because it's something to see. You know, a spoiler. Sorry, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I mean. It's a good action flick. They call it an action comedy film. I mean, I thought it was more action than comedy, but I don't know. The fucking weird thing is Burt Reynolds left. 
the way he laughs and <laughs> it's fucking weird. But no, but he he works at Bob McGaw. He's supposed to to collect money. He's a gangster. Yada yada. He's an asshole too. And he has this fucking buddy. He is this? He's got this guy named Bones. Who? Let me see who it is. I want to see this guy. Cast Bones. William Ingresser played Bones. And he. I mean, they have a car, and his face, his head's in like in the sun, the sunroof. This big motherfucker's like a, he's like a Jaws ripoff. He's more like a Richard Cagle or whatever his name is. He played Jaws like a ripoff character, and he has Smiley. He's played by Burton Gillum, which is one of his little right hand men who plays a, he's some gay guy on here. I don't know. But he he's on the, um, he's one of the deputies, one of the on bla- the racist Blazing Saddles. He's one of the racist people. He's in there too, but he's um. I mean, Burt Reynolds works for him, but then he realizes that Jerry McCall is not only a fucking local crime lord, but he's also a fucking pervert pimp, and he drugs and like supposedly he has a house because there's a scene, there's a scene with him going into these like this boarding this house with the with a bunch of females, and then you find out. I mean, you look at this, and this is the movie in the seventies. You look at him like, oh, they must be in their twenties and stuff. Man, this, and then he had a like he wanted to go see him, and he wanted to be out of the game. A, a, a gator wanted to be out of the game. He didn't not want to do anything anymore. He wanted to get out of uh, Bama's shit because this motherfucker was in a room fucking a fifteen-year-old. This girl was all fucked up on all these drugs and shit, and fucking. Gators, not he didn't have no fear. He tells Bama like, like good God, you know, and just, I mean, it's just, it's just like, and you're like, oh, he's like, oh, he needs some time. She'll give you, she'll give you a good hell of a time. And it's just like, man, it's like, fuck, that's fucking sick. I mean, you fucking pedophile motherfucker. It's like, yeah, that's just, it's just fucking sick. I mean, I mean, it's just. I don't know. I mean, seeing the fucking like, like on on fucking Prime Cut with Sissy Spisick, Nick, they're selling women like they're fucking cattle, like naked and all that shit. I mean, it's just it was like, and it's pretty cool because Burt Reynolds is like he goes up to her and he just knocks the drugs out of her hand, asking how old she is and shit, and fifteen, and and it says all the girls at the house that 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 was at they're all under fifteen years old, under sixteen, and it's like it's fucking. It's just fucking sick. It's just sick and fucking sick in general. But then again, like, I mean, throughout the film, it's great and all. You, you, you fucking feel bad for Irving Greenfield because he gets jumped by Bones and Smiley. Um, man, what a fucker. He gets, I mean, it's not really bloody and shit, but hell, he fucking gets killed in the end. I mean, and then, but yeah, Bert, Gator finds fucking damn uh, Aggie, who plays by Aggie Baybank, the the... The produ- that the, of the interviewer who's trying to make it good. She wants to. She knows about the corruption and everything. So they try to take down McGall. I don't know, but you know, looking at the end of the fucking White Lightning with Ned Betty or whatever the fuck his name is, just going through the fucking swamp and just drowning to his death. I mean, this one. I mean, at the come up at, for Bama for Bama McGall's comeuppance. I mean, well, hell, I think the best depth's probably when Bones fucking dies. He blows the fuck up. Okay, boss. Well, Bama knew something was up. He said, like, I think you're going to go out here. Okay, boss. Opens the door and then, <laughs> fucking gas explosion because fucking Gator and put the fucking gas out and <laughs> put the damn the, the lamp connected to the door and made it fall. And, and he made it like they were in bed. Or made her like she was in bed, like ah. Oh. But Bama McGall's come up was was he dead? I don't know. Let's see the fucking. Yeah, he just that's the thing is he beats up to the he beats him up, and that's it. And then the yeah he beats he beats him in a fist fight, knocks him down this fucking little like fairground fairground like vendor. Bo- like whatever the fuck and 
there's nothing else. Like, so really, in the end, the comeuppance is fucking. Yeah, the comeuppance was. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it was great, but then, then again, these the white, just like White Lightning and this, the endings were shit. I mean, for the main villain. I mean, Bones, he's the, the big bodyguard. He's like, he was like the best death. I mean, but... You, you think Bob McGall will be dead? No, he... We don't even know what the... He just got prison. He got prison raped. Maybe so. And then at the very end... Because Aggie and him had this little romantic thing. And he fucking, like, way early in the film... Like, before the film's almost over... He, like, wooed her. And she fucking took her top off. And yada yada. And we didn't get to see those titties. But... She on the end, she realizes that. Um, oh, I'm gonna go national to New York City, and then Gator says he loves her. But they have no future together because she wants to go to New York. He doesn't want to go to New York, so he just goes home. So that's it. I mean, th- there you go. Good action. The comedy. I don't really. Oh yeah, I forgot about the scene where Obama where. Where he wants to leave, and they drug the they, where Gator wants to get out of the game with Obama, and they fucking drug him, and he has this. I'm a pass out, I'm a pass out. You know, I it's just his fucking. It was I don't know. It was a good. Here's the thing is that it was a good film. It was I liked it better than White Lightning, but like I said, the comeuppance is very fucking weak and flat. Oh, he beats him up. And there's a helicopter. We don't know what the fuck happened to him. Like I said, he probably got prison raped because they fucking probably knew. They, he should have said, this guy's fucking little girls. He needs to get his ass fucking raped. So rape his ass. And that's that's just what it is. But that's Gator. I like the film. It was alright. Yeah, thumbs up. But at the same fucking time, it's just, I mean, it's a good film, but uh, it's not rewatchable. No. I mean, I, I'm, it just, there's nothing memorable. I mean, nothing memorable. To, there's nothing to rewatch about. Maybe if the, Bob and McGall had a good fucking comeuppance, comeuppance, getting his ass fucking killed, or something brutal and shit, but now, now, this is one and done for me, but like I said, it's still a good movie in the end. But weak ass comeuppance. And this is, I don't think there's any more after this, but I'm, I'm on a Burt Reynolds kick. Or I might watch a horror film. I don't know. So, uh, I mean, was, I'm, I'm probably going to watch some horror movies back again. Or some action films. Like I said, I'm going to try to check out some more Burt Reynolds films. Because I just, maybe maybe there's a good, I mean, a, a better film out there. Because this one's okay. It's all great indeed. It's nice. It's good. But both of these films are not rewatchable. White Lightning, definitely not rewatchable. That was boring as fuck. And it was good. But there's just, it just needed more. This one was good. But it was just fucking weak at the ending. Oh, let's kill fucking one of the heroes, like one or one of the or Irvin Greenfield. He get a fucking a fucking twelve gauge. But no, so I don't know. That's just my point. That's just my thought of it. It's a good film indeed, yada yada. But I, it's not rewatchable for me. So definitely check out 1976's Gator. It's pretty good. Not rewatchable. So. It's a shitty review. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I love talking about films. So if you, but if you like watching my review and critique and just talk about the films and yada yada, uh, subscribe. I do a bunch of these movie reviews. I do vlogs. Um, I just been going for a lot this summer. This this summer is probably one of the worst summers ever for me. Ever since spring. This this year, the twenty twenty two is one of the is the one of the worst years ever for me. And I'm trying to get back. So, but y'all take care. Stay safe.